Hi, everybody. It's time for Healing with the Blues. Healing with the Blues. That's right, I'm healing with the Blues. I've got nothing left to lose. That's why I'm healing with the Blues. Such a pain inside. The love that's there for me, I have denied. I've never had the blues this long, this deep, this wide. That's why I'm healing with the blues. I hope you're getting this right now. It looks like we're live. And we've probably been live for a little while here. So I just want to make sure that you know you're in the right place <laughs> here at Healing with the Blues. You can tell. You know that song where I say, such a pain aside, the love that's there for me, it's all in here. It's all in here. And so when we're doing healing, all we're doing is we're bringing that out. We're bringing that out so we can feel it, so everybody around us can feel it. And it's a great way to really think about our healing because our healing is an amazing uh, gift that we have that we can tune into at any time. And I wanted to talk a little bit about a post I put up that had to do with suppressing the past and pain. And there are a few people that responded to that. And I want to just say that um, the posts that I put up about that are designed to kind of poke you a little bit and to make you think a little bit about what is going on with you. So when I put that trauma, when you have trauma, you need healing, your mind, body, spirit needs healing. It's because it does need healing. And healing does not necessarily mean that it gives you license to be um, ranting, <laughs> which someone did on my page. But I want you to understand that it's okay to rant, just not on my page, <laughs> not on my personal page. Um, because what I want to do there is have positive um, messages for people. And when people are start jumping on the bandwagon of this, this sucks and it's so bad, that is not helping. That's actually adding to the problem. So if you have a rant that you want to go through, we want to get to the bottom belief there. So what is it that makes you feel like this is something that you're angry or upset about? We want to know what that is. And then we want to clear it. And you can tap and rant. You can tap on that with EFT and say, oh, those idiots. Why do they keep saying that? It makes me so angry. I feel so upset when I hear this because it means that what happened to me isn't bad. And what if it isn't bad? What, what if I, what happened to me? Well, it was bad, but maybe there's something there for me. Maybe there's something I can learn from it. Maybe staying in anger isn't really helping me. Maybe I can heal from this fully. See, here's the thing. When you stay angry about something bad that happened, you are not being open to the good that's underneath that. And that's all we talk about here is what's underneath all that hurt, upset, grief, sorrow, what is underneath that that's there for you? Because yeah, you can stay in the valley of the shadow of death. You can pitch a tent and live there. You're absolutely allowed to do that. Nobody's gonna stop you unless you come across somebody like me. <laughs> I'm gonna question you about it and say, do you really wanna live here? Or would you rather live in joy, in love, in peace? Well, you might say, well, I have that. Then why are you angry? What's the anger really about? Let's get to that bottom belief. And here's something that's really great. There's movement that can happen and that can help unleash some of this anger, some of this frustration, some of this sorrow and grief. And today I'm gonna introduce you to Elisa Hamo. Oh my goodness. She is coming to us all the way from Helsinki, Finland. So uh, welcome Elise. I'm gonna just introduce you a little bit and talk to, to people about you. Um, <laughs> thank you for being here. She's a creator and a movement maker. She is um, helping ordinary people unleash their abilities through dance and creativity. Yeah, she has studied dance as a self-initiated project since 2006. So you must've been like a tiny child when you started dancing. Um, <laughs> And she's based her extensive tutorage as a child in ballet and classical music. She um, aims to feel good 
in every moment. That's what we were just talking about, feeling good in every moment. And every movement and wants to birth the same desire in others. So what you have here is someone who wants to help you be more of who you really are. So welcome so much. She's coming to us all the way from Helsinki. Tell everybody where that is. Are you, how close to the Arctic Circle are you, by the way? Hello, hi, hi guys, everyone. Um, yes, uh, we're quite close. Uh, I don't know the, the exact kilometers or, <laughs> That's okay. or miles, so I'll, I'll just conveniently bypass that. So how, we can how, how long do you have daylight there? right now in this yeah. time period well, it, it starts uh, pretty early now um mm -hmm. and uh and that's also not something i've been focusing on but but <laughs> i that is a very convenient way for me to open up the discussion about what is right right now yeah right timing and right processing for myself so yeah. i could answer your question and veer from myself <laughs> and, and, and that's fine that, oh, we're, we're all about veering around <laughs> here you want to stay on the road but you can travel in any lane you want <laughs> well, it's true you can always go back and that's one sacred message i have to share with the world is that you can always always get back and there's yeah. only now yeah. so thank you so much for sharing what you have and and having me here today as well i'm really happy to do honored. it i also want to tell you that um that she's been doing this work and has studied creativity in the UK, Maidstone Uni in University for Creative Arts and um, Aalto University in Finland, I'm probably saying that wrong, and it has majored in strategy and management. I think I need strategy and management every day. <laughs> and she's always keen and open to learning new abilities that have significance for her and for the planet. You know, that's really what we're talking about. We're talking about the planet and it all starts with us that's why when i'm singing that song and i say there's love in there that i've denied it's because that's what's happened to us we've denied this love there are some um there are some that haven't done that in their life and in their in their culture but and we want to learn more from that so Alyssa, tell me more about what you're doing the um word significance pops out right now for me um, and it's very personal a personal thing that uh, connects me into the world and I've noticed that the the similar structure connects every one of us each one of us on this globe uh, to their own personal significance and then to each other so we built this network of people who are kind who are respectful who are loving and who can nurture their se themselves so not putting yes. so much pressure on the outside world to nourish us, but unleash our own way of experiencing that. Yes. And I want to share one story that was really lovely for me um, from the outside. It might sound trivial, but it's not really because it was the magical thing that unleashed me uh, and my experience of uh, of significance and being truly connected. So um, I was uh, spending this sunny day, it, it was a summer's day with my friends on on this beach and we were lying in the sunlight and everything was fine and lovely and we were talking and chatting. But then then at one point I, I just uh, started kind of daydreaming and being and I heard this small little voice and I think this is the key how do we separate and how do we um, access the thoughts that uh, tie us together into into the significance uh, and for me at that moment it was that oh there's a wonderful uh, rock formation on the other side of the beach like the, the it was a small lake though not a seashore but but like a tangible thing I could see the the, the offshore on the end mm -hmm. and and that this thought came to my mind I want to climb that I want to see my I pictured myself sitting on top of that rock yes and it's like oh get a bigger view it was but it was I'll tell you what it was also a uh, small enough mm -hmm. uh, right. target and aim so I could actually contemplate of do I want to actually do it is mm -hmm. it actually for me and 
how would I feel if I achieved doing that? Because it was, uh, it required swimming um, a bit further away than I had, had been uh -huh. used to. Uh, so it was kind of overcoming something for me. Right. And so, so I had to initially hear the thought, then I had to actually consciously act choose on it, yeah. and act on it yeah. and not just suppress it of like, oh, silly thought, I'll do it tomorrow right. or later or whatever. And then it never comes. But I did. I, I listened to that voice. I was practiced enough at that stage. And I was like, hmm, okay, I could do that. I could do that. Okay. Then I remember this smile, the same smile you're seeing on my face now, uh, coming out. And that's something that you can you can really tangibly feel in yourself. Mm. So is th is this the right um, strategy for me? <laughs> what are the tactics that I'm going to use in order to get there? So uh, there were these kind of bubbles sitting on top of the waterline uh, that kind of mark where the the actual safe beach <laughs> mm -hmm. ends. So I had to go over that line and that was a very like big threshold because after i had swam to that and and was calmly sit, uh, swimming there it was a really lovely day no like waves or anything yeah. so i could completely see that everything is fine there's right. no no rush right uh, but i started being bombarded by these horrible messages of like um, well, it's not horrible, but but just like motherly type of like really concerned, like oh, oh something's bad's going to happen, and and you're going to get like down under. Worry, yeah. Worry, yeah, exactly. So it was really really funny because I could completely see that everything was fine from the, the right, right. Side right. Of and then um, this other voice is going danger, danger, yeah. danger, danger, danger. Yeah, go back, go back. Is this really safe? Is this allowed? Yeah. This is actually the one big message is this allowed should i do it no mm -hmm. one else is talking about it no one else is wanting me to do it but if i have that yeah. requirement right. within myself and i hear that message the the reward is amazing because once i got through that and i saw that the the worry that was there yeah. and, and i um I got to experience the freedom of being there when, once I soothed the, the voices mm. inside. And then I got to climb on top of it. And once I got to that marker, the, the marker that I saw myself sitting there completely at ease on top of that, my mountain, <laughs> <laughs> a personal mountain, not a very sure. big, but uh, completely within my reach. So uh, the uh, amount of energy blew me away because i had actually thought mm. that it was a small thing but it was not it was amazing and and i got to experience and and bring together these two thoughts of like this is significant for me but it feels quite ordinary so it's easy to dismiss it right but once i was there i got to connect the dots and, mm -hmm. and there was an energy stream there. I'm sorry, yes. lamp here. <laughs> oh, it's like light. It's not lightning because it's 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 revealing the the pure, amazing, warm energy. Yeah, it's like um, the way that I describe that feeling is like a breeze is going by, but there is no wind. Oh. It yes. feels like yeah. openness and free and and lovely. Expans expansive, and for me, it's it's like the sun. It's yeah, it's and expansive, yeah. And, and suddenly I see things differently, and I get to experience what life is really about at, at its purest, at its best. So that that is why the, the secret is also that uh, the trivial things that are meaningful to you can have that same lightning effect. So not one person is the same is similar than the next one. You will have different points in this reality where you get to connect the dots and feel yeah. that. So that's so great because I can I can picture you there. I can be there with you when you're telling this story. I can get that feeling just from you talking about it. 
And when we're talking about this, this happened with me last night on the phone with a friend and I was talking about, you know, changing our perception of things through tapping, through EFT. And she's like, you're talking about it and I'm feeling better. And I said, this is, this is the vibration of what I'm talking about that's creating that for you, just like you just did. It's the vibration of the feeling of you talking about it. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. <gasps> that's, um, that's creating that vibration for us so we can all have that same experience right now of swimming over that boundary and climbing up that rock and going, yes, I did this, even though I had all this stuff in front of me. That's beautiful. And the movement of swimming and climbing, and it's just, it's all there. You got it all right there. That's awesome, Alisa. Wonderful. Oh, my. It, and this is an added layer to the story then for me as well, me <laughs> hearing you talk about it and, and and realizing that it can have the same effect by just me sharing the, uh, the vibration of it. And, oh, and I've the, got it in my mind. I'm picturing everyone it. Everyone can have it. Everyone. Yeah. So it's not, uh, this is a simple story. And once you just connect the dots for yourself, then you can experience, yeah. experience the same thing. Where, yeah. where, whenever it uh, it connects with you. Yeah, that's awesome. Perfect. Beautiful. So, so then the movement is part of that story. That movement of like, I have to go beyond this boundary that's there. Nobody else is going across that boundary. I don't see anybody else doing it, right? And I have to do it myself because I'm getting this idea of what could happen, what I want to see when I do this that it and draws then, you to it. And then there's one added thing that is actually yes. really relevant to this as well. Uh, and it's curious because we always, well, at least coming from Finland and within our cultural base, I've, I've lived abroad in different countries as well, mm -hmm. but, but I think this is very relevant to Finland as well, that we always talk about go outside your comfort, comfort zone. Mm -hmm. and I don't really believe in that anymore because of just because of this story. Because I think uh, I was comforted. The, the initial thought was the thing that comforted me throughout the whole swimming process of it. Mm -hmm. So if I just choose, would have cho chosen randomly something that I want to achieve, then once I would have plunged into it, I would feel really uncomfortable. But as I chose right, I chose the, the soft, there's, there's a wonderful poem actually by Mary Oliver, I think. She's the great. Peace. It's, uh, it's so heartwarming. And there's a small line that let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Mm. And this is what it's all about for me, that uh, you feel the resonance in your, in your yeah. body. And once you feel the soft, impulse there saying that this is something I love like I, I saw myself sitting on top of that rock that was something that I loved at that moment I love that and then then that is something that is, that is the shelter that you need in this world to be able to uh, accomplish things and go yeah. forth to, to things that love you as well so so we're all in this together and and the counterparts are there Really? Oh, yes. There's a wonderful meditation that I've done that that helps link us all together in this energy that um, you move out into the world and you link up with all the others who are doing the same kind of thing. Yeah. Attuning to the vibration of healing ourselves and everyone else around us, because what's our highest good is good for everyone because everybody has their own highest good, it doesn't mean that there's like a limited amount of good, right? There's infinite amounts of good. So we can all link up to this together and have this network around the earth, around the universe. Why oh, stop at the earth, right? Um, exactly. <laughs> around the multiverse <laughs> and, and, and hone in on it. And it's extremely powerful. It changes your body. It this is what I keep say saying this message. It's going to change you when you put your attention on it. The, I think sometimes the difficult part for people is getting the noise down to a level where you can hear that, what you heard, 
and also knowing that oh that it, that is source telling me this is a good thing and the smile comes in like yeah that makes me feel good when i think about doing that i think about being on top of that rock i think about being uh performing in front of hundreds of or thousands of people that gives me that feeling of like yes this is this is where we want to be all together yeah beautiful yeah. Tell me more about movement and what you're doing with people in movement. Well, um, I noticed some of the similar stuff um, or the thoughts and playing with the mind um, when I was dancing in, in a forest in Finland. Also, I think I really love the, there's this, um, well, one of my favorite uh, writers is Oriah Mountain Dreamer, which is a Canadian um, writer. And she's originally named Oraya House, but uh, she was given this Indian name uh, through her explorations. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, she she has a similar way of uh, like descri describing the world and and going forth. And through her, I learned about that this worldview that I've uh, held steady ever since, like back, going back uh, ever to two thousand six. When I, when I be, began this kind of transformation journey for myself, that uh, there are four different bodies in in a person simultaneously in each moment. So we have the mind, uh, and we can tap into the source from there, and we have the body uh, that is plain in plain view and wh whatever it is and feels like at this moment, you can tap through that into the source as well and then you have emotions so you have an emotional body as well and you can use those and then there's the soul that uh, kind of speaks to you these these sort of uh, things that core things that are relevant to the world and to yourself uh, at any given moment so my um my use of the body is very simple and and the origin came from um, a place where I worked at, it was an, uh, a place for unemployed people at the moment, but they offered me this chance to be an artist at that time and explore, and I'm ever grateful for them for that, uh, to explore the artistic side of me very, mm. very freely. And they're sitting in that uh, chair and typing away some marketing stuff at the same time. Um, I noticed and I paid attention to to the warmth in my body and I realized that at some moments uh, the warmth is diminishing so it becomes cold and really tense but once I have that uh, thought some sort of thought that uh, pleases me then there's a outward mm -hmm. warm expansion and I think that that's what we uh, talked about in, in the story, the, the first previous story as well about swimming, that that I experience it as warmth and the sun, and it is actually uh, mm -hmm. energetic. So you can, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they they measure that already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of heat, it's heat, and and that gets unleashed when you feel good, and when you move, there are different ways of moving as well. And this is what I explored in the in the forest, uh, that I decided to make it a game for myself. And I played this game that I'm only going to move uh, or continue a movement when I feel this pleasantness and I feel this warmth. And once I get this sweet idea, then I'm gonna continue and go forward to that uh, until I reach a point where it, it kind of diminishes or or whatever but but i noticed pretty quickly as well that once you start uh following this sort of thought then uh that is creating this nourishing warm feeling in your body then usually it, it expands so so there were very few times if ever that it, it just kind of cuts completely uh it requires another thought that kind of uh, slices in between then but other than that if, if you sue then find always the relief in thoughts that you can kind of just lull away <laughs> and it's a it's a nice swaying thing and then you're always in control so it's not not like something is uh, 
uh, taking over or anything. You can choose still freely like what you do, but but it's it's a nice game to have. And this I suggest for everybody. To play. So what so what what's a way that you work with people specifically? I mean, you want to is there something that you want to share with people about what you're doing with clients or people that are coming to you? I could uh, share a very easy, easy movement and I'll, um, I'm wondering if I, can I play a bit of music? Well, we have about three minutes left, so it's going to have to be really <laughs> short, but if you can kind of share with them a little bit, yeah. Sure. Can you, if I play from here, do you hear the music now that I'm playing? Well, it doesn't really matter. I, I hear it, so maybe you can hear the, the vibration of it. So um, just close your eyes for a while. And you can feel the goodness and the natural movement that arises from you. They can take a deep breath in or however the body wants to move. And just kind of scan and look inside and see what in you already feels good. So there's, I bet there's one point, or one body part, one spacious thought that already is actually doing pretty fine, or even enjoys a lot. I love a lot. And just focusing on that, and breathe into it and allow the body to shift into that spacious energy by itself. And now you're incorporating the whole planet, the earth, the universe, and you're just flying away. And you, you allow your body and your to make peace with yourself, be a friend to you and your movements. However you want to move is fine. In this very moment, it's all that is needed. Try to create that one specific smiling effect you have and take it with you. And you can draw circles or triangles with your nose or your big toe or your butt. And just be curious what it holds inside. And you can see that uh, sometimes you know more what you want to do with next. And sometimes you know less, but you know just the right amount that is needed for you now to completely rest and be at peace. That's Thank beautiful. You. Thank you so much, Alisa. I really appreciate it. That's a beautiful way to start movement and to get movement into your life. And I'm That's sorry, so we have so much noise going on outside here. <laughs> Probably heard the motorcycle go by. But that's also something that you can use in movement as well. You know, that's part of it. So thank you so much for being with us today. I'm so grateful to have you here. And if you want to get a hold of Elisa, we're going to put her link in the comments section underneath this in our group and on YouTube. And I hope that that this was uh, beneficial to you today. I know it was for me. Um, we're going to go ahead and close with a prayer today. I'm just going to check and see if there's any comments we need to take care of right now. Let's see what we've got going on here. Yeah, you can hear it. Okay, good. Thank you, Robin. That's awesome. I'm so glad. Um, wonderful work today with Elisa all the way from Finland. Thank you so much. By the way, the, the crosses uh, behind her on the window, that, that's the Finnish flag in case you're wondering <laughs> what's going on. And apparently there's big, what did you say, hockey? Yes. Hockey so matches. So everybody's go Finland. So if you don't know who to root for, now you know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a prayer to end our time together today. So take a nice deep breath in. Imagine that you're breathing up through the top of your head, up through the crown chakra, up into the love light source energy, up into the center of the universe, wherever that is. 
And as you exhale, let that energy come back down through all layers, all levels, through all those bodies, down through all the chakras, the center of your body, that energy skeleton that's there, down through your feet into the crystal core of the earth. As I say these words in the I am, God is all there is, love is all there is, light, life, and source energy is all there is. And I recognize right here and right now that I am one with God, love, light, life, and source energy. And I'm never separated from this energy. But if I feel separated, I know it's a false feeling. And all I have to do is breathe in inspiration and invite spirit in and exhale gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for these beautiful images today. Thank you for this beautiful story today. Thank you for Elisa and her willingness to share herself and her intuitions with us. Thank you so much for all that happens in the world that we can point to and look to for love, for, for soothing, for comfort, and also to help us understand that when we are asked to go beyond what might be a normal limit, that if we feel good thinking about it, it's a good thing. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm grateful that we have the ability to connect like this in so many different ways all across the earth. And I'm grateful to be able to be here right now, experiencing this healing today. I'm grateful to all my guides, guardians, angels, all those spirit helpers on the other side who have crossed over before me, who are cheering me on. And those here in the physical plane that are showing me the beautiful contrast of this world, knowing that I can pick and choose what I prefer, what makes me feel good, what enlivens me, what makes me thrive, what gives me passion in life, what releases the love that's within me to me and then to others as well. I'm so grateful for all of this. I authorize my subconscious to let it be so, to dissolve any of those constrictions or contractions keeping me from my highest good. I say that it's so and I let it go knowing that it's already done. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So it is. And so it is. I'm so grateful that we got a chance to do this. We were having a little technical difficulty at first, and then we got it together. So go us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do it again. I'm so looking forward to spending more time with you, Elisa. Thank you so much for coming to us this, this evening for you, this morning for us. Have a great rest of your day and uh, we'll be talking soon. Thanks for being here, everybody. And remember, if you want more healing, just come to Healing with the Blues and allow yourself to open to healing. And when you say three times, I'm open to healing, I'm open to healing, I'm open to healing, the universe is hearing you. So thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Yeah, all right.